I've been a fisherman from when I was about eight years old. Almost all my life, I've been a fisherman. I go fishing all over Jamaica. Wherever the fish is catching, that's where I'm going to be. It was five hours going to the Molan Key, leaving from Chilani. The plan was to go fishing, but things didn't go as planned, you know? In the night, we leave out to go fishing. When we reach a certain distance, then the weather get bad. We develop difficulties, engine problem. So we drift off course. We see this vessel up in the sunlight coming down on us. We see US flag. When they come beside us, they, they say, stop the boat. This is US Coast Guard. And then we stop. Two Coast Guard boarded the boat. They ask us what we're we doing. We tell them we were fishing. We show them our license and everything and the paper for the boat and everything. And they say they're gonna they're gonna call Jamaica. What's going on? Well I quest asking like what's the process? And then they <laughs> put their guns up and say we together on the small boat. They put us on the big ship, they tell us to take our clothes off, strip naked, they give us a white suit. Then they chain us to the back of the deck. They put a cuff on our feet and then you got a lot of other people chaining on the boat from different countries same way with us. And gradually, you see a big fire. They destroy everything in fishing gears. They shoot up the boat, they light it and sink it. They burn our boat. Then take us to Cuba. They said, we're not being charged. We're only being detained. Every day we ask, can we get a phone call? They say, no, it's against the policy. When we went in Puerto Rico, they find a tarpaulin and they cover the back of the boat so no one could see us. And we were there for like probably two, three days. All the time we chain. Every boat we go on, as they switch it over, they chain us and they just give us cold food every day. Slimy, it's not good. You in the elements, the sun, the rain, the dew. Sun come burn you, rain come wet you. That boat we was on it during the hurricane. Clothes wet, the bed stuff they give us get wet. It was hard, man, it was hard, you know? Yeah, it was hard, you know, we know that. We're in the honor of the US government and this, this is the way they cheat us, you know? We were cheating like we are garbage. We're not qualified to come inside. So that's, that's all we were on the vessel all the time. It was dramatizing, you know? Sometimes you could remember it. It comes back to your mind, you know? Like the treatment, what you go through. Everything was right. It come like I, I just lo lose my mind completely. Everything was just. It made me feel like sometimes I will jump overboard too. Enough time I think about jumping overseas and just forget about life. But sometimes I think back on my kids, them. I just try to stay strong to see them again, you know? We didn't get a phone call until one month, four days, until they take us to Miami, take us to the FDC. I called home and I tried to get to my, my baby mama. I didn't get to her. I tried to get to my brother and I didn't get to him. And I get to my cousin and she answered the phone and she said, oh God, thank God you're alive. The first time I called, it wasn't Ann that I got to, it was her daughter. She burst out in tears immediately when she heard my voice. I was all over in tears. I couldn't talk. I was like all crying. 
Everybody in Jamaica say I was a dead man because nobody know nothing. My kids, they've been dropping back from school and all of that because they're not hearing from me for the whole month. I think I never sleep one minute. I haven't sleep. I don't know how. I can't describe that feeling. It's a horrible feeling. guilty or nothing. And they lock us up unlawfully. And charge us unlawfully. And we do, I do my time, I do my 10 months. That's the only way we see we're gonna go home. You ever been somewhere after a stop? And when you look the whole place, strange, your place trash. Yeah, that's how I come home. I got to start all over, pick my life up, you know, fix the pieces. Come back to Jamaica, we don't have nothing. I lose everything. I lose my boat, I lose my fishing gears. I have to just try to start all over. And it's rough. Right now, we're just trying to get back together. Get a new start, see if we can build back the crew, you know? But each time you think about them things, it's like, it just break you. Yeah, it's just break you. You still leave back a, a memory on your brain, you know? what you're being through and all of that, you know? I was going to do something to help myself and help my family. And it wasn't nothing illegal. It was fishing. There is no human rights out there. They treat you like animals. That's why I want to do this case so they can be exposed to the world, let the world know what they're doing out there. That's the question I want to ask the court. What's the reason for that? If there's a law for that, I want to know if, if it's against the law to hold a man one month before being charged him. I want some answers. I want to know how. How did this happen? And why did this happen? I want the world to see what's really going on. 